Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. So guys, it is new project day. Yep, I went and picked up this new project uh, for us to get into uh, over at Rochford Copart this morning. Um, I've only just got to um, do this video now, this, this afternoon, but I thought I would do it. It's just going to be a quick introduction of the new project, guys. Show you all around it. Show you what's going on. Show you what we've got. Um, I, I, on, honestly, I don't know what it is if I'm just seriously, seriously lucky when it comes to doing this or I've actually worked out. Because <laughs> um, uh, this, this, this car, again, another one uh, like that Focus, this one, is even better it is incredible um so yeah let's get out there i'll show you what we've got you'll see what i mean um when it comes to how good it is and um yeah we'll uh, we'll get into it so let's get out there i'll show you what we've got let's do this right okay guys this one is another one which is stuck on the trailer i can't get it off because it's got wheel corner damage um and yeah it is a 2015 65 plate 2015 um ford b-max um we've done i've only ever done one of these before and it sold before i even finished the car so i thought well They've got to be a, little, a nice little popular car that people are interested in, if that was the case. And, you know, you never know what's going to happen with this one. But this one is even better than the last one we did. So, um, yeah, this is a Cat S. And this is the only damage on the car is this corner on the driver's side. Um, so, I'm expecting some sort of structural damage behind that wing maybe the inner wing needs a little pull out or needs a replace we'll have to get into it and find out what is going on you can see that the wheel is at an angle straight away there so we've got to you know replace some parts uh, and i've already got a complete leg for that as soon as i won it i just thought that needs a leg straight away so i was searching and searching and searching and, and they're quite hard to find on these b maxes so um at a reasonable price <laughs> but i have got one it's in good condition and it was a great price only cost me a hundred pound for the whole leg including the hub um the the the, the, the spring everything everything's included 100 100 pounds so that was an absolute bargain i've also found a wing and i think it's in color the reason why i say i think it's in color because this color is it's so weird it's like a silver but it's like a goldy silver don't know can't really work it out um i haven't even checked the paint code i've got to be honest but um i picked up the wing anyway because i thought we've got that we've got to get a wing do not matter if it's in color or not we've got to get one so i've ordered that that's um on its way as well so I have started to order some parts for this car, um, but until we actually strip it down and, and tear it apart, we don't actually 100% know what we need. Um, so, yeah, let's have a walk around it because it is a decent one. I don't know if you've noticed already, but this is a titanium B-Max. So it's got a few extras, bits and pieces around the car that the normal ones don't get um like the sensors on the front and the back i think they're optional sure anyway them sensors but this has got them um and you know you can see that uh, how nice and clean that is down the side there far from a bit dirty it's a clean car there's no other damage to this car so yeah uh this one is a two owner from new as well car um and yeah you've got rear rear parking sensors and you've got a rear camera as well unfortunately i would say unfortunately but it is what it is this is a one liter eco boost engine that's in this one um now i normally stay away from them i've got to be honest i kind of steer clear of the one liter eco boost but just because of the problems they have the reason why i went for this one is because this has only done 
30,000 miles. Um, yeah, um, unbelievable. Um, 30,000 miles. Um, and the MOT history on this car, right, is this car has passed every MOT from new, not one advisory on any of the years. That is the best MOT history you can get on a car. Just past every single one, not one advisories. It's it's incredible. Like the whole package of this car, so good. Two keys. So I've got two keys with it. Got the logbook as well. Um, and when I'm looking through the car, I find a booklet. Not only do I find a booklet, I find the service history. Let me show you the service history on this car. This has had main dealer service from new. Main dealer, main dealer, main dealer, main dealer, main dealer, main dealer. The last one is 20... Um, 10th 2022 so and it's done 22,600 miles at the minute it's showing 30,000 so it's kind of missed a year it missed 2023 there so we're going to do a service <clears throat> i'm going to get um all the service kit um, from main dealer including the oil filter the air filter i'm going to get the whole kit from them so and I'm showing it as well. I'm videoing it. So there's video proof of, of me um, changing um, and servicing it um, with the uh, main dealer parts. So this car is the, this, the whole package. So this, two keys, um, the MOT history, the mileage. It just is an incredible buy, guys. I tell you, um, they try to... I, I, I've won this car... And they come back to me. I, I actually won it for 1,500 quid. You've got these well cool doors. Oh, they're so good, they know, the doors. Yeah, I won it for 1,500 pounds, this, this car. And they didn't let me have it. They said, nope. Our, they, they said that their reserve was 2,200 pounds. And I said, no thanks. Um, I'm sticking to my original bid and, and stuck to my guns. Um, and they come back to me and said, well, no, you can have it for two, 2,000 pounds. And I said, nah, I'm sorry. I'm sticking to my original, original bid. So that's what happened. Um, and in the end, they just let me have it. They just went, all right then, you can have it. So including fees, it come to £1,800 for this car. <laughs> now, this is a 15 plate with that mileage, that service history, two keys, logbook. Um, it... it I've checked on eBay a straight one of these with the same mileage, year, uh, spec, and all the rest of it. They're like seven, eight grand. They are a lot of money. Um, so, but you know, because it's because it's a cat S, you've got to knock off thirty percent of that, um, and then you know, see what happens when it comes to the figures. But what a lovely car! Honestly, it is so nice. Um, I'll show you the engine. bit dirty dusty normal stuff from copart dusty stuff but um you know unlike the um, the focus uh the focus was absolutely beautiful it, it don't get me wrong it does look it looks tidy it looks nice it's you know i can't see any issues with it it's got power it starts um obviously it doesn't run but it starts but uh yeah <clears throat> This is going to be a lovely car for someone, I tell you. I don't know. I just get really lucky with these cars. But, um, you know, and it's never... It's, it's had... This has only had two owners from new. So, yeah, it's just a great little car. Definitely the legs had it. I've looked through there and I can see that the top of the... The, um, the, the, the bottom of the strut, the, the bottom of the actual hub, um, there's a split and a break in it. So, that's definitely had it. 
So that's why I went out um, and got um, another complete leg because I knew that that had to be changed. Um, and then we'll just get into it and find out. I'm sure the paint code's here, isn't it? JK8, is it? JK something? So, but yeah. Someone's coming to the door, guys. Let me come back to you in a minute. Sorry, guys. Yeah, someone come to the door. Just wanted a quick chat. Um, but they're gone now. That's what happens when you're outside. They grab you. When you shut the door in the lock up, they kind of leave you alone. But, um, yeah, let's... Um, Let's get a bit of power to the car and I'll show you on the inside. I can't open the driver's door at the minute because it's so tight in that wing. I don't want to do, do any sort of damage to the door. So I want to kind of leave it as it is. But we'll get in this side. So, yeah, we've got to um, get it off the trailer again. Um, so, yeah, let me show you the mileage. 30,297 miles. So, yeah, come with two keys. Like I said, it's the titanium version. So you've got cruise control, uh, electric folding mirrors. Um, it won't... CD? Um, oh, we've got a CD, have we? We might have a CD in there. Hold on. We have. Let's inject it. Jeez, what have we got? What is that? What is that? I have no idea what that is, but um Yeah, maybe I'll uh, I'll listen to that. <laughs> See what it is. <laughs> um got digital climate control as well here. Which is good. Um Um, yeah, so it's it's the titanium version, guys. So we've got like a few extra bits and pieces in the car. Um, can I get over on that driver's seat? Hold on. Let me see if I can get over. I'm going to try. Because I want to start it. I haven't started it yet. Come on. Come on, leg. <laughs> well, I'm over. All right, let's see if she'll start. Here we go. Oh, and a fuel, full tank of fuel. Look. Copart missed that one, didn't they? Thanks very much, Copart. Full tank of fuel. God, that clutch feels brand new. It really does. So, yeah. But with, like, 30,000 miles... Full, I didn't know he had a full service history, so that was just luck. That was just pure luck that it come with any books, any service history. Um, but what a lovely, another lovely, lovely car this is. Um, you've got electric folding mirrors. Let's see if they fold. Yes, they do. Both of them. So they fold good. Um, I'm not even, yeah, I don't want to move the steering wheel too much because of that front wheel. Um, we've got to get into that and find out what's going on, obviously, behind the damage and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so far, so good, guys, on this car. Let's turn her off. Um, yeah, I need to get back over now. Here we go. Okay, I'm over. I do like these backs, like the, the way that does that. So good, doesn't it? So much space in here. So what do we think, guys? What do we think of this car? Because I think it's just... Guys, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about this car. Because the only reason why I went for this, I don't normally go for the EcoBoost engines. I don't. I really stay away from them. But because of the low mileage, I thought it was well worth 
it was well worth getting um and what a bonus that it's got full main dealer service history so yeah when you sort of you know, advertise that you tell people that they go well you know if it's got a full main dealer service history um it's obviously had the the correct oil changes um it's obviously had the correct oil changed uh, in the car through through it you know from new um and with that mot you know history as well it's just gonna be a great great little car for someone but um yeah what do you think might have to get another headlight or oh, i could already see some damage in there look at that look so that's the uh, that's the actual bottom bracket of the inner wing the inner wing looks like it's got away with it this part here is the inner wing that part the bottom there is like a is just a bracket which i think you can change those so i might look into changing those brackets that bracket there as well so we have got a little bit of squash there but i'll be interested to see if that leg has been hit I don't think so at this point. I can't really see where it's been hit. Um, you just never know, guys. Until you actually start ripping it apart, taking it to pieces, you really don't know. I'm just guessing at this point. But I definitely knew that a leg was was needed. Um, so I've definitely, you know, went and got out one of those straight away. So, yeah. But I just need to get it off the, car, get it off the actual trailer again. Not sure if we're going to be working on this tomorrow um or we're going to be jumping on something else it'll be nice to get this off the trailer so i might do this tomorrow but we'll see how it goes but what do we think so far of the new project guys let me know what a little cracker um yeah and you know so far it only owes me 1800 quid so i think a great little bargain even though it's a cat s i I think it may be because of the leg that is, they're saying it's a cat S. Um, that has to come into it. But f from, you know, because the bumper's not been removed, the wing's not been removed, and the headlight's not been removed off the car, the assessors haven't sent this to a garage to be stripped down and checked to make sure that it is a cat S or it's a cat in. Um, they haven't done that. But I did buy the Focus as a cat in. Um, but yeah, anyway. Let me know what you think, but for now, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.